Python and R are top programming languages that are in demand in data science. Helping Python and R are top programming languages that are in demand in data science community. Both have their own pros and cons. Therefore, it is vital that you understand the crucial differences between the two programming languages and decide which one is the best fit for you. After watching this video, you will understand which language is better for you in terms of different parameters. Before unwrapping today's topic, I request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. And also get notified every time you get a similar video. Now let us look at what are we covering today. We are covering introduction to R and Python, parameters in R and Python, best tools and libraries offered by Python and R, and conclusion to the topic. Introduction to R and Python. Let me ask few queries regarding Python and R. R language is super, superficially related to Python, C, C++, Java. Please leave your answer in the comment section below and stay tuned to get the answer. And another question is, which one of the following is a Python file extension? .p, .python, .py and .pyt. Please leave your answer in the comment section below. Coming to introduction to Python and R. R is a statistical programming language and environment that integrates statistical computing and graphics. R is powerful and stable software. Python Python can also be called as a general purpose programming language for data analysis and scientific computing. Python can be considered as the best player in machine learning. Python is an expressive language with many built-in functions. Both are open source software and platform independent. And they are platform neutral and also compatible with all major operating systems including Unix, Windows and Mac. Next, we will be covering different parameters. We will be covering learning preferability, mathematical fundamentals, speed of both the languages, visualization and graphics, data handling capacity, demand, community and customer support, employment possibility in both the languages. Let us cover it one by one. First one is learning preferability or ease of learning. Python is renowned for its ease of use. Python's notebooks offer excellent tools for sharing and documentation despite the fact that there are currently no GUIs for them. Programmers find R as difficult language as a beginner. This implies that the programmers must devote a significant amount of time to learn and comprehending R coding. Coming to mathematical fundamentals required. Coming to Python, understanding descriptive analysis is very important. In layman's terms, descriptive statistics often refers to the process of explaining using certain representative techniques such as charts, tables, excel files, etc. Python statistics is a built-in library for descriptive statistics. If your data sets are not too big or if you can't rely on importing other libraries, you can use Python. On the other hand, R requires basic statistics. From basic stati statistics, what I mean is mean, mode and median are the terms used most frequently in basic statistics. It is referred to as measures of central tendency. Probability statistics plays an important role in handling various types of probability distribution. It includes binomial and normal distribution. Next parameter is speed. Python is an interpreted language with dynamic typing. 
Python always executes slowly because the code is executed line by line. Compared to MATLAB and Python, RS, R language is significantly slower. R packages are substantially slower than those for other languages. Now that we have covered speed, coming to data visualization and data collection in Python. When selecting data analysis tools, speed visualization are crucial and Python has some incredible visualization tool. In Python, to large and varied scatter plots using regression lines, we can use ggplot2 and ggplot tools. Compared to draw values, visualized data is easier to comprehend. Therefore, R has many packages that offers sophisticated graphic features. In R, we can use in R we can use tools like Matplotlib, Sabon, etc. Data handling capability in both Python and R. The new releases in Python have resolved the issue with the Python packages for data analysis. R is useful for analysis because of the abundance of packages, accessibility of the test, and benefit of employing formulas. However, simple data analysis can also be done using it the need to install many packages. Crucial part of parameter that is tools and libraries in Python and R. As a Python developer, one needs to be well versed in the best libraries because Python has a lot of libraries that have many different uses. Libraries like TensorFlow, Scikit-learn, NumPy plays an important role in solving many Python related problems. Libraries perform a wide variety of tasks in R that are very beneficial for data science operations. Example for that is Deplier, Bioconductor, etc. Community and Customer Support Support Index offered by Python and R. Compared to R, Python has a larger community. For assistance, we can contact www.python.org. For any queries regarding Python and help, you can support, uh, you, I repeat, you can visit support.realpython.com. For any help and queries, R offers you with R Studio community. R provides assistance through its official website. For queries and community related issues, we can contact www.r-project.org. Next is job opportunities in Python and R. A recent survey from Indeed.com predicts that at least 55,000 Python jobs in the USA with exponential pay rates are available. Big tech companies like Google, Amazon, Twitter, Facebook requires Python developer to handle massive amount of data. Position provided for a Python developer is software engineer, data analyst, data scientist, and many more. Career in R is an excellent job opportunity for you as a beginner. Big tech companies like Google, Twitter, Facebook are using R. Position provided by companies as a R developer is data scientist, data analyst, data visualization analyst, etc. Moving on, let us wrap up an important topic, which language to be used between R and Python. There is no right or wrong way to study both Python or R. Both are in demand skills that will enable you to complete almost any data analytics work you come across. It ultimately depends on your background, interest and career objectives that which one is better for you. But compared to R, Python is easy to learn. Let's compare its strength and weaknesses. It is used to handle large amount of data. Python performs non-statistical functions and it is best suitable for programming. However, Python is better when it comes to coding.
वेर एज आर इज यूज इन डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन ग्राफिक्स आर इज अ वाइड स्प्रेड लैंग्वेज इन द स्टैटिस्टिकल कम्युनिटी इट इज यूज टू एक्म्पलिश मेनी मैथमेटिकल टास्क सो बिफोर कंक्लूडिंग द टॉपिक लेट मी आंसर द query that i have asked regarding r and python do you guys remember the question the query was r language is superficially related to which language so the answer for the question is c language next question was which one of the following is a python file extension it was an easy question answer for that question is dot py simply learn offers you with the best courses for both python and r certification offered by simply learn regarding r is data science with r certification course it is a skill up course that contains 64 hours of applied training 10 real life industry projects dedicated mentoring session from industry experts and finally lifetime access to self paced learning i will provide the link for this course in the description below data scientist for python it is a best course for a beginner it includes five courses in collaboration with ibm at an affordable price courses includes python for data science After that we will be covering applied data science with python machine learning as well as tableau learning and data science capstone and finally receive a master certificate with individual certification for each course i will provide the link for this course in the description below thank you for watching happy learning Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.